Hello, I'm Todd Chaffee, Director of RapidMiner University. I'd like to welcome you to this demonstration of RapidMiner. For our tour of RapidMiner, let's work through a real business problem and see what the end result might be from an advanced analytics process used to solve that problem. In our example, we will assume that we sell shaving equipment and would like to predict which people are likely to grow a beard in the future. Today, we want to select candidates for a direct marketing campaign geared towards the specialized grooming needs of beard growers. We begin at the home screen for RapidMiner Studio. You can see that we have a button to launch the application wizard. You can use this wizard as an accelerator to quickly and easily realize results in response to some common business needs. Sometimes, the easiest way to learn how to do something is to see what your destination is first to give context on where you're going while you're getting there. In the case of our direct marketing campaign, we would like to know where we can best spend our resources to get the most value. So let's start with a direct marketing wizard. On this screen, we can drag and drop into this area or select a file. For example, an Excel spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and grab a data set with information about our potential customers. We see that our data set consists of multiple columns. The column that we're most interested in is the one we'd like to predict, growing beard. We can select this column with a simple click. We will now create a predictive model using the other columns as input to predict the value of the growing beard column. This is important because we only have information about beard growing for some of our prospects. For the other rows, the values in the growing beard column are missing. These are the values we want to know and that our model will help us with. RapidMiner will use the examples where the values are known to build a model which predicts the value for those cases where it's unknown. Let's go ahead and run our analysis. The results are explained to you in a guided walk through the output. We start with a table containing the predictions for all prospects where the value for growing beard was missing. They are sorted by our confidence that they are going to grow a beard according to the patterns derived from our data. You can follow the guide and now inspect a decision tree, which illustrates a hierarchy of attributes and benchmarks that help us find our most likely responders. Next, RapidMiner shows the most important influence factors weighted by their impact. The shaver type, for example, is more important than the fact that a prospect is a reader of the magazine Beards Today. These two graphs, the tree and the bar, provide insight about where we want to focus our attention and our resources, and perhaps equally important, where we don't. You can continue through the guided walk to explore the visualizations that RapidMiner creates for you. What this wizard ultimately shows you is a recommendation based on its analysis of our data. Here, it suggests that aiming our campaign at a specific smaller portion of our list would give us a response rate over double that of the entire data set. That fits right in with our goal of getting the best ROI from our budget. This is a lot of information already, which we came by pretty easily, but our tour does not stop here. You could choose to export our results to share this information, helping to launch a targeted campaign that reaches out to that segment with a projected higher response rate. Let's see how simple that is. We now have the option to create an HTML page. Let's save it and call it Campaign. Here we see a web page that not only contains our input data, but also shows us the results of our analysis. In particular, it gives us the records of the specific people in our recommended target group. We have also saved the graphics we generated in RapidMiner. Getting back to our tour of RapidMiner, besides exporting these results, you might want to optimize or integrate this analysis. This accelerator we have just seen can be thought of as a starting point. With RapidMiner, you can always look under the hood and inspect the underlying analytical process. This brings us to our design perspective. The data is flowing from left to right in this process. Each building block performs a specific analytical function. This is like the square root key on your calculator, performing that operation when pressed. You can combine the building blocks to build your analytical solution based on those standard operations. The green box on the right calculates the decision tree that we have seen. Everything which is delivered to the ports at the right is shown to the user or can be used by other programs if you want to integrate the processes you will build. Alright, now that we've seen an example of what we can achieve, 
Let's see how easily you can build your own process. First, let's start with a clean slate and a new process. Next, let's drag a data set onto our blank canvas and see what we have. Local. Data. Growing beards numbers. This creates an operator that represents the loading of this data. The next step is to connect the output ports of the operator to the result ports on the right side so that we can inspect the results. We can now execute this process by clicking on the play button at the top. Alternatively, we could also deploy it on a RapidMiner server and execute it there. We could schedule it, or we could transform it into a web service for integration into our business process. Let's press play and see what we have for data. This is a different data set containing numerical data describing our prospects. We are still interested in predicting who is going to grow a beard and who is not. Click the Statistics tab on the left to see that basic statistics are automatically available for you, including average values, counts, and visualizations of value distributions. You can click on each bar to get more information about the columns of the data set. A click on Open Chart or the Charts tab brings you to an extensive set of data visualizations. Those can help you explore data to find first patterns. These visualizations are also available in the web interface of the server. This parallel chart represents each case as a line, and your task is to differentiate between blue lines, will grow a beard, and red lines, will not. Impossible? A different visualization might give better hints. Now we can see that the two classes, beard and no beard, actually differ in certain regions around some of our attributes. For example, attributes 11, 45, and 36. Let's use a predictive algorithm to figure out the details about those differentiators. Back in the process design perspective, we can add one of hundreds of modeling techniques to the process and re-execute it afterwards. For example, a decision tree. Each operator is explained in a help screen where the functionality, expected input, and all parameters are discussed. This help window can be expanded or contracted as the need arises. Now let's see what we can learn about our data. The result of the process is a decision tree. Decision trees are popular predictive analytics algorithms because they not only tell you what the important factors are, 11, 45, and 36, but also determine the optimal thresholds for decision, here, here, and here. Now let's go back to the design perspective and learn more about how RapidMiner will support you to create optimal processes. Let's say that we wanted to replace the decision tree operator with another algorithm, perhaps another kind of tree algorithm, like ID3. The software will analyze in the background if this function can be applied and marks problems clearly in the process. We see that this kind of algorithm is looking for a different type of input than we are providing. But RapidMiner can do even more than just detect problems. The tool can make recommendations about how to fix them in the best way. Those recommendations are based on the best practices of our user community. Each quick fix will automatically add the necessary transformation steps. You can see that RapidMiner adds a new operator to implement the data transformation fix we selected. The ease and use and transparency of the process flow make RapidMiner an ideal tool for collaboration. We've all been in situations where there's a meeting in front of a whiteboard, followed by a team going off to code something. After a period of time, sometimes a long period, results come back and either aren't quite what was intended or are spot on, but generate another set of questions and the cycle starts over. Imagine instead that you could use that meeting to lay out that whiteboard process in RapidMiner and then press play. How much time would that save you? How much quicker could you iterate through your analysis to get key business insights? How much faster 
Could you bring those insights to market? And how much sooner could you generate real value? Let's take a look at another feature of RapidMiner, the ability to save processes and run them later. Here we have an example of a saved process that creates a lift chart. A double click loads this process into the main process view. Press play and we get our chart. A lift chart shows us which examples we expect to match our target, and also a cumulative effect of those examples. In this data set, we can see that the first 10 or 15 percent of our population can expect to get us more than 80 or even 90 percent of our goal. We didn't even have to know anything about advanced analytics in order to get this result. Find it, load it, press play. Done. Back in the design view, we can reuse this process for another similar purpose simply by switching our data set. That's another added value from the clarity of RapidMiner. Since it is easy to understand how to use RapidMiner, more people in your company can do more things with it. That means you can both empower decision makers to perform simpler analysis tasks on their own and reduce the workload on your experts, leaving them time to work on the thornier problems. So how do you get people up to speed quickly? We've already seen the extensive online help built into the program, but the easiest start is actually through our animated tutorials. Just follow the steps to quickly become an expert. Follow the text balloons to learn about RapidMiner. When you see a cartoon panel, follow the guidelines within the picture to see how to perform a step in the process. Here we see sample, data, deals, drag and drop. So let's do that. Sample, data, deals, drop here, drag and drop. Tells you that this creates an operator, tells you about the input and output ports, and tells you where to find more operators. Next, Modeling, Classification, Tree Induction, Decision Tree. That's what we had open before. Drop. Here it tells you to connect. Shows you how. Connect this port to this port and this port to results. So let's do that. Output. Connect. Connect. And connect. Now shows the play button and tells you your first process. Press play. Tells you about the results perspective and tells you to switch back to the design perspective. And that's it. You're done. These tutorials will show you the mechanics of RapidMiner and how to create predictive models with a few clicks. They also cover how those models can be applied to new and unseen data and how the prediction accuracy can be determined. Okay, by this point, we have used some of the functionality within RapidMiner Studio to work through some use cases solving business problems. Next, we will discuss some advantages of moving beyond a single analyst with an isolated desktop and what steps you can take to leverage those advantages with RapidMiner Server. Thank you.